Good morning. I'm Donnell Reese, pastor of Mosaic Community. We're so glad that you chose to spend time worshiping with us this morning. We would like to take a moment and welcome any visitors that are with us for the first time. If that's you, we would ask that you would raise your hand at this time so that we can give you a small gift. Also, if you wouldn't mind filling out the contact card, we would like to get to know you better. We would invite you to find your place and be a part, living as a collaborative and cohesive expression of God's love and mercy to the people of our community, nation, and world. Hi, I'm Heidi Walters, the Kids Discipleship Coach. If you're new to Mosaic, you may notice something different about our worship service. In the back of this room, we are joined by all of the children. Mosaic encourages unified worship experience. Therefore, we make it a priority to engage our children in our corporate worship times. After the first couple of songs, our toddlers and preschool group will be led to their rooms by the Sprouts leader. After worship is over, our older children will be dismissed with prayer to Generation 228 Kids Church. We invite all children 12 and under to join us for a time of fun, games, and learning the Word. And now for your Mosaic Community Announcements for March 22nd, 2009. Join us for March Not-So-Random Acts of Kindness. This month, we're going to jump into spring and utilize the power of the flower. Randomly leave someone a flower along with a victim card on their doorstep, windshield, workstation, or anywhere else. They will be sure to find it. For more information or to print out new victim cards, go to our website. There will be an usher meeting immediately following service today in one of the rooms. Yes, in one of the rooms. That is the exact phrase Neil Peek used when submitting this announcement. So, if you are an usher person or would like to spend quality time with Neil Peek, please go to one of the rooms directly after service. Just follow me. Barbie, what are you doing tomorrow night? Well, Barbie, I'm going to Real Women. It's at 8 p.m. at the Vine. Have you been before? No. A friend of mine that was visiting my house in Malibu told me about it last week. Oh, hey, Barbie. Do you know my friend Barbie? Oh, nice to meet you, Barbie. What are you girls up to? We were just talking about going to Real Women tomorrow night. Yeah, we're going to talk about all kinds of girl stuff and eat these snacks. Oh, super fun! Wow, can I go? We can all go. I'll drive my convertible. Actually, none of you can go. What? It's called Real Women. It's for real women. You guys are plastic. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Um, <clears throat> bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. This year, the worship team will be taking the first ever Mosaic Community Worship Team Retreat. We'll be heading out to Camp Redlands on March 27th and 28th. We are asking each person to donate $10 toward the cost of food, but please don't let cost hinder you from coming. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. We'll get it covered. If you have any questions, contact Dave or Kelly Green. For the past three years, Covenant Community has hosted a golf tournament to raise money so that they might be able to educate the young minds of this community. Many of you have turned out year after year. Dusting off your clubs, you get out there and supported the school that has brought us great minds, such as Tiger Walters, Rachel Peak, Casey Patterson, and Claudia Baxter, to name a few. You might not have been the best player, but you still did your best to support this fine school. One, however, has not given this same effort. One has thought themselves somehow exempt from this participation. One has managed to dodge the event each and every year. Are we talking of some one-time guest to Mosaic who sits in the back of the church? 
Are we talking about someone with no vested interest in Covenant Community School at all? No. We are talking about your pastor. That's right. Donnell Reese has never participated in the annual golf tournament. And let's talk about vested interest. She has not one, not two, not three, but four children enrolled at the school, and yet she sits on the sidelines. She might argue that she doesn't know how to play, or that she isn't very good at golf. To that we say, that hasn't stopped some people from playing. Erica Lewis, coordinator of the event, released this statement. Quote, We are all shocked and saddened by this revelation, and I don't know how she has been slipping through the cracks all this time. Jen Armstrong, a female participant, had this to say. Quote, The only tea I've seen her with is the one from McAllister's that she sips on in the shade. Understandably, Dallin and Gannon, two of her children, would like to remain anonymous. I wish she supported the school like all the other parents do, just, just by playing golf. I know she could do it if she just tried. Could she? A petition will be available for signatures to see if we can get this CCS mom and leader of our community to get out on the course this May 2nd. If you and your friends would like to play and support CCS, please see Neil Peak. Well, Donnell, your people have spoken. Now it is up to you. Are you going to play or what? That's it for this week's announcements. Remember to check out the website, www.mosaiccommunity.org, for these announcements and many more, including some events that are going on in our community.